It's 10 o'clock Central European time. Uh, welcome everybody, good morning, and thank you for joining our uh, tech talk for the energy industries uh, today. Um, I'm Aura Sinico, uh, the Regional uh, Marketing Communication Manager for ABB Energy Industries in Central and Southern Europe, and today I will be your host. Um, today's session, uh, we will um, deep dive how to improve the productivity in your terminal with ABB uh, Terminal Management Solution, TMAC Plus, with our global expert, Juan Tapia. So let's get started with some uh, quick uh, um, housekeeping. So uh, just a few um, information before we will get officially started. So if you are joining as an attendee, uh, you are uh, muted. Here you can see um, the panel that you should be able to see in front of you. So if you have any problem, any issue during the session, please feel free to type your uh, question in the chat or Q&A area. We will be able to uh, reply to you uh, during the session. Uh, the session will take um, one hour uh, in total, uh, more or less 45 minutes dedicated to the presentation, while at the end we will have a Q&A session uh, together with one. So you are always welcome to submit your question directly during the session. We will collect all your input and we will be able to answer at the end of, uh, of, uh, of the presentation. The event uh, will be recorded and it will be uh, available in the next couple of days in the ABB um, Tech Talk uh, Energy Industries website. So let's jump to the next uh, slide. Just a quick uh, disclaimer. The information in this document is subject to change without notice and should not be constructed as a commitment by ABB. ABB assumes no responsibility for any errors that may appear in this document. So, thank you, Juan. We can jump to the next one. So, um, some uh, highlights and a quick uh, recap of the agenda of today. So, first of all, I'm honored to introduce you our expert today, our Global Product Manager for Terminal Solution, Juan Tapia, um, myself again. And then uh, here, the, the topic we will cover today. We will start with a quick safety moment, and then we will jump directly into today's session. Uh, we will have a quick overview about, about market challenges, we will also have the possibility to deep dive uh, ABB Terminal Management System TMAC Plus. We will also have at the end a few use cases just to show you um, TMAC Plus in practice, uh, a, a quick conclusion, and then we will open the Q&A section. Safety is always our first priority, so no matter where you are, uh, be always aware of, of your surrounding, even though we are, you are working from home. Know the local emergency procedure, and of course, uh, since we are living this uh, pandemic crisis, uh, keep reasonable distance from others, so social distancing is really important at the moment. Um, let's get started with a quick overview what are today's market challenges uh, and why uh, we are here to talk about terminal management system okay <clears throat> thank you Maura. well i introduce myself a little bit i am uh, juan tapia i'm a global product manager for tmac plus i'm uh, working for abb in the last uh, 30 years the last 20 of them working uh, in the terminal business first as project manager and now as global product manager. I'm located in ABB in Madrid. So I will also introduce what is a terminal management system. Terminal management system, as uh, most of you know, is the software that helps to manage the terminal, integrating all the procedures and operations that exist in the terminal, from access control to product receive and dispatch by different means, or the management of the tank farm, the generation of documentation, etc. So we have talking to different terminals related people, site managers, maintenance people, etc. And we have seen that there are common challenges to the different terminals. One is the need to integrate systems, subsystems and field devices that may exist in the terminal. The aim is they don't work as independent islands without communication between them. 
but to have all of them integrated and therefore there is no need of a specific operators for each of the systems. And we will have all the information available in a single platform. We we'll also see that more and more regulations are coming in regulations for environmental, taxes, safety, security procedures. So we need that all these regulations and procedures have to be implemented in a simple and agile way in the system in order to maintain the operation in the terminal. Also, there are terminals that have very rigid structures that prevent modernization and with even obsolete systems. Also, digital applications have to be integrated and implemented in the terminal, such as, for example, the ERP for order registration and invoicing, and also other applications and systems have to be integrated, like, for example, the tax agency to tax management or laboratory systems, maintenance systems, etc. And of course, it is necessary at all times to measure and record all operations and transactions that may exist in the terminal. So perfect one. Thank you for the quick introduction. So let's now change a little bit of the perspective. So these are the challenges, but what can ABB do to support customers to solve these challenges? The, the answer from ABB to all these challenges is Kimat Plus, which is a terminal management system integrating all the systems on field devices that may have that we may have in the terminal. And they are integrated in a single platform. So we can reduce the operating cost and at the same time, we increase the productivity of the terminal, as we will see during this presentation. It's a flexible integration because TMAC Plus can be adapted to meet the terminal procedures. It's modular because we provide the modules needed for the operations in the terminal. Also, we will see these modules in the, in the webinar and these modules can be activated when needed. So the application will grow together with the needs of the terminal. TMAC Plus is based on Windows and integrated with the ABB 800X8 platform, which is the automation platform in ABB. It is used for, sorry, it's used for green fields. That means for new, new plants, where we can apply the entire product portfolio of ABB from electrification, to instrumentation, the control, and of course, the terminal management system. But it can also be implemented in existing plans because the Mac Plus is capable to integrate the control systems already in place. Not only the ABB, which is the default, but only, but also we can integrate third party control system and also reusing all the instrumentation and all the devices already in place. If we have a look, a generic functionality that the Mac Plus can provide. We have the, we cover the security management, the access control of the vehicles entering the terminal, the drivers or the terminal personnel. We can integrate also the CCTV. TMAC Plus manages the loading and unloading of the product by different means, by truck or train, by pipelines or ships, trains, but also, in addition to the receipt and dispatch, we can manage the additives and also the blending, the mixing of the different products in the, in the terminal. Also, we can support the sealing of the compartments in the truck or, or the rail wagon. We have the inventory as a functionality, the product invent the, the physical inventory of the products and additives, but also TMAC Plus takes into account the product entries and the product deliveries. So we calculate how much product we should have in the terminal. So that means that we manage the book stock in the terminal. And if there are differences between the inventory and the book stock, that means the gains and losses we may have in the terminal, we can perform product reconciliation operations. Also, we have modules to improve the use of the terminal, we will see during the presentation. From a module to plan all the movements we can make, we can make in the terminal, the, the, the entry of product, the exit of product, or the movement between the different tanks, and we can optimize all these movements. 
Also, we have the, as an example, the automatic bay allocation to improve the truck movements inside the terminal. We have the integration with software data management, such as PI from OCSoft or IP21 from Advantage, or the integration with ERPs, typically SAP, but we can also integrate with other vendors as Oracle, GD Edwards, Navision, or even an uh, in-house ERP developed by the customers. And it's also important to mention that Team Atlas allows the management of several product owners within the same terminal. If we see Team Atlas from the automation levels, on the system architecture, we have the level zero to level two, where we have the control system and the instrumentation and the instrumentation where the orders are executed, physically executed. For example, an load track loading order. On the other hand, we have the ERP where the order from the customer is received and where the process, the billing process is performed. And we see that there is a gap between level four and level zero to two where to link both levels. So here is where TMAC Plus is. It's the TMAC Plus is a level three application that covers this gap between the levels. We integrate the vertically from the, the orders coming received in the ERP. We download these orders, the data from the order are downloaded to the control system. So the control system can execute this order and the result of the order is uploaded to the to Tima Plus and sent up to the ERP so that we can perform the billing process. We have seen the vertical integration from ERP to control system, but TMAC Plus is also capable to integrate different uh, field devices and, equi uh, and equipment. Field equipment as, for example, valve system from Rotor or Bernard, presets from different manufacturers and uh, different models, injectors, car readers, weight scales, and gauging systems. So we have a communication uh, protocol library where we have uh, protocols with all these devices, but we, if in a, a specific terminal, there is a need to integrate a specific, uh, a specific device that is not in the list, we can develop the communication protocol with this specific device and it is uh, included in the product for new releases. TMAC Plus also can integrate not only equipment or individual devices, but complete systems. The integration with vapor recovery unit, oily water treatment, control systems for fire protection, the distributed control system, the emergency shutdown system, both for from ABB or third party control system. And as we have explained before, we can integrate the, with ERPs from different vendors. Okay, perfect one. So, so far we talk about the overall system. So we cover, uh, you know, the system from uh, the architecture point of view. We also mentioned the third party integration. So now can you tell something more about the TMAC plus digital features? One is the capability to remotely control and supervise multiple terminals from a central control room and combine the information of several terminals on a single screen. So it's not only a point point to point connections, but it is multi-system integration, several, uh, several systems in one screen. So, and I said, it is also possible to remotely control the terminal. So if we combine the remote supervision and remote control, it gives us the option to have terminals without local operators. That means that there are no people in the terminal. You can have uh, administration people, security people, 
maintenance, but there is no need for local operators. So that means that we can reduce the cost in the terminal. It's also possible to configure the alarms, to send an SMS or a notification to the smartphone in case there are alarms of a certain level. And the information also, the reports, can be configured to send them through emails according to a distribution list. So with these features, features uh, people in the terminal are informed about the status of the terminal at any time, at anywhere. Another digital feature is the we have developed an app, what we, we call Terminal Insight app, and it's developed to link the different actors in the logistic business around the terminal, from the product owner, the hauliers, drivers, inspector or maintenance people, operator, terminal manager, the gas station owner, and of course, the support. So there is a link between all of them through the, the app as an example of how we link these uh, actors. The gas station manager can receive a notification through the app with the estimated time of arrival of the truck. So it's possible to optimize the preparation of the gas station to receive the product. And also the acknowledge of the delivery is done by reading through the app a QR code printed in the bill of lighting. So we have a fully paperless process and this uh, acknowledge can also be sent to the product owner, to the haulier, to the terminal manager, so everyone knows that the product has been delivered. If we go deeper on one of the roles, for example, the driver role, we can, we can enter all the data for the truck, the trailer, and the driver directly through the app. The three elements are identified at the entry gate scanning a QR code with the smartphone. So the data is read by Kimac Plus and it performs the checks configured according to the procedures in the terminal. So by using the app to identify the elements means that it is no longer needed to have a car reader or a tag reader at the entry gate. And uh, through the app, we can identify also the driver in the different steps or the different points in the terminal, the wheel bridges, inspection area, the printing room, the exit gate. So in fact, at any place in the, in the terminal, except of course, in the loading bay. Also, when the, we need to ship the doc uh, shipping documents, we have to generate the shipping documents. A printer, it's not required anymore because the delivery note and other transport documentation will be available on the driver's smartphone in digital format in the app. So we are saving the printer itself, its maintenance, the paper associated when generating the documentation, but we are also saving time because it's no longer necessary to stop to generate the delivery note. The app also allows other functionalities that help to optimize the terminal. For example, the driver can distribute the orders or the products in, the, in an order between the different compartments directly through the app. And he, the, he can do it in advance. And he can select a date and time to pick up the order. This means that we will not have bottlenecks at the terminal and the time will be optimized because the order disposal is no longer needed to be, to be done on the loading bay or at a kiosk in the, in the terminal itself. So if the, the truck is less time in the terminal, we can perform more operations and then a greater terminal efficiency. Great. So thank you, Juan. Thank you for sharing all these comprehensive insights related to TMAC Plus digital features that can really, I would say, facilitate daily work and also reduce uh, investment and maintenance uh, for terminals operators. So based on what we learned so far, um, can we make a quick summary of uh, TMAC Plus key features and also in a nutshell, what are the benefits really offered by um, ADB Terminal Management Solution? So the mains are the capability of integration. We can integrate all the devices and subsystems in a single platform. We have an app for mobile devices with the different roles linked, linking all of them. The capability to remotely control and supervise 
several terminals from a centralized control room. We have the scalability. So the terminal system can grow together with the needs and functionalities needed in the terminal. We can start with a solution configured according to the current needs of the terminal. And if a new functionality is required or new asset is required, it is possible to add such module or such asset by activating the to the we add to the active license and configure the new functionality. And that's it. It's configurable because the parameters in the terminal are configured directly by the operators or maintenance or supervisor, whoever has the necessary level of access, and not only by the parameters, but also the information shown in the different work forms of the application can be modified by the end user with the appropriate training, of course. And TMAC Plus is flexible because we can adapt the system to the application to the specific requirements and procedures in each of the terminals. If we also summarize the benefits of TMAC Plus, it increases the increases the control because the decision making is improved. We are informed at, of all the activities in the terminal, receiving information from all the systems that, that we have integrated in a seamless way. If we are in a terminal or even if we are outside the terminal, because we can have a device connected to the network and receive the same information at home as we were in the terminal. We can reduce operating cost because as we have all systems integrated, we don't need a specific operators for each of the systems. Or even if we have remote supervision and control, as we said, we can manage the terminal remotely without local operators. And also with the advanced control modules provided by Tidmac class, the time spent by the truck in the terminal can be reduced. So we increase the number of operations that the terminal can carry out without the need to increase the installation itself. And therefore, we increase the efficiency of the terminal. And also, we minimize the risks because we know we increase the security. We know who is in the terminal at any time. And we implement all the safety procedures in the terminal. Perfect. So now let's jump a little bit closer to the system itself. So can you show us some modules and also some real interface and, you know, maybe sharing some insights also about how the interface look like? Yes, of course. We have, a, as we said, Tima Plus is a modular solution. So we have modules covering the functionalities needed in the terminal. For example, we have modules for to receive and dispatch product by trucks or ships or rail wagons or pipelines. We have modules for access control, the inspections, both of the status of the vehicle or also the paper, the documents of the of the driver. We have the automatic bay allocation that we have mentioned before, the sealing, blending of the of product, additives the automatic town farm control, the planning uh, module, self-consumption, and also we have change of the, change the name of the product, and of course, the product balance and inventory in the terminal. If we have a look, deep look on how the application looks like, here we have the interface with a, for a truck loading bay, and here we have the information of the order, which is the information received on, from the ERP. We have the truck plate or the trailer plate. So we have information from the access control. We have the actual weight. So we have the weight from, the, from, a, from a scale. We have also information from the a preset or the information from a local display and keyboard located in the in the loading bay to interface with the operator. And also we can have the signals from a control system or emergency control system. So we have we can see that we have six systems integrated in a, in the same display in a seamless way for the for the operator from the ERP to the control system, to the local devices located in the loading bay. 
we can see the, our an example of our planning module where we can see all the movements that are scheduled in a in the terminal. We can see it in the different scales, time scales. We can see the movements planned for today or the plan the movements planned for today and three days in advance or seven days in advance, etc. We have different colors for the different products and the different type of or types of movements from receiving to dispatch to movements between uh, between tags tanks. If we place the cursor on a specific uh, movement, we will get more information. We have a tooltip where we see the, this movement, who is defining, which system is defining the, the movement, if it's the ERP or it's created locally in uh, TMAC Plus using the, the web forms and the estimated start time, the estimated end time, and we will see also which or the which movements have been completed. Okay, but it's not only a presentation because there is a logic behind, so that informs us, give us a warn in case a movement that is being planned cannot be carried out. For example, if we do not have a space in the tank to receive product, we will what we will get a warn, a warning, or if we don't have enough product to dispatch the product when the movement has to be performed. Because TMAC Plus also makes a forecast of how much product there will be in each of the terminal tank. The automatic bay allocation, as mentioned before, will inform the, dri the driver will be will is, which is the most suitable bay for the order according to the according to the products that are that is that are defined in the order okay and this uh, the system will inform about the the bay sending a notification in case the app is used or through a, a panel located in the terminal we see that the tmac plus is using web forms for the to interact with the with the operator, we can display, and uh, all the information is displayed and entered using web forms. These web forms are compatible with different browsers, such as Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Safari. This means that they are accessible locally from the terminal or remotely from a PC or a tablet or whatever. In this example, we see the inventory, how the inventory looks like. We have the quantity of product available in the terminal for a certain, for a certain product. And when we mark the product, we see more details. In this case, we see the, in a glance, all the movements and the inventories and the balance for the specific tanks or for a group of tanks. And we can see also the quantity of product belonging to each of the product owners defined in the terminal. If we see uh, the, how the interface with the terminal inside app looks like, here on the left side, we have the main menu of the, uh, the, of the app where we have the loading or unloading process. We can set up the data for the truck, trailer, and driver. We have a folder for the shipping documents, the transport documents, and we can select an appointment to load or unload in a terminal. And we can also request help to get some support in case of any issue. In the central screen, we see that the loading disposal can be also performed, can be performed from the app where we will display the quantity sell for each of the compartments in the terminal and the product and we will see the available capacity in the trailer and on the right side we have an example where the driver has just entered to the terminal and then this, uh, the app will say says which is the next step the driver has to go to the scale 
Great. So, uh, thank you, Juan. And uh, we are almost uh, at the end, I would say, of our presentation of today. So, if you haven't done it yet, uh, I really would encourage everybody to submit your question um, using the chat area or the Q&A, because we will open very soon the um, the Q and A session uh, with one, and uh, um, be but before that, I would say let us. Um, share with you some also practical use cases because we have more than 100 installation worldwide. So here we selected a few cases. So one up to you uh, for the final section. Okay, we have a as a use case uh, as an example of the application of Tmat Plus in a in a terminal. Is a the our the CLC terminal. It's a CLC. It's a logistic company distributing gasoline, diesel, and jet A1 with a terminal located close to Lisbon in Portugal. The customer needed to replace the existing TMS while keeping in place all the subsystems and all the devices already installed. The control system, emergency shutdown system, the weather scales, the presets, etc. And also we need to integrate the, with the ERP. And it's important that the replacement, the replacement was mandatory to be executed with minimum disturbance in the daily operations. ABB supplied TMAC Plus because of the capabilities of integration and the replacement was performed with no interruption of the normal operations. So at the end, the requirements from the customer were fulfilled and now they have a system ready to implement new functionalities or the digital features when needed. Also, another success story is the ATPC terminal in Antwerp, in Belgium, where the customer was looking for an integrated system for LPG unloading process with product received reception by train. TMAC Plus was the solution because we integrate with ERP and the control system. We receive the order from the ERP, send this, the data in the order to the DCS, the control system makes the alignment of the valves from the loading bay to the storage tanks. And also the train weighing scale is integrating to verify the quantity received in the terminal. So at the end, we have a full integrated system from the ERP to the control system and also to the instrumentation. So we are close to the end of the presentation. And as a conclusion, we summarize our Value propositions, we can reduce the operational cost. All systems and devices are integrated in a one platform. So we require, uh, it's require, requiring fewer operators. We can save engineering time because the parameters in the terminal can be modified directly by the customer. We improve and accelerate the decision making. Everyone is informed every time from anywhere because we are receiving information via SMS, notifications, emails, and also we are increasing the productivity because we can reduce the visit time of the truck in the terminal using our advanced modules as automatic bay allocation, optimized loading sequence, the planning, etc. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope this Tech Talk has been useful and interesting, interesting for you. And you can find more information on the website in case you need further clarifications. Thank you very much.